the first step every inventor should take. That's what we're talking about today. Now, ask 20 different inventors what's the first step you should take, and you'll probably get 20 different answers. And they're not necessarily right or wrong, it's just that person's opinion. What I'm going to share with you in this video is my humble opinion. It's what's worked for me, it's what I think gives the most learning and the most value in the shortest amount of time while spending the least amount of money. Now the answer is crude prototyping. Not $10,000 fancy prototypes, crude prototyping. And this is something you can do yourself at home. Um, you can buy some off-the-shelf products that are similar to your invention or that have bits of your invention um, and take them to pieces, break them apart and just take that one small piece and then combine it with other things to make an approximation of your invention. You can also just go down to the local art store and buy some cardboard, sellotape, super glue, styrofoam, plasticine, modeling clay, resin, like to make molds. There's lots of different prototyping materials you can buy to create crude prototypes very quickly. And the value of this is incredible. I have proved or disproved so many inventions in less than an hour just with some crude prototypes. Hey, that's pretty good. For myself, I've proved or disproved my inventions very quickly and I've done the same for my clients as well. And sometimes oh, it can be really heartbreaking for people to see their invention disproved very quickly and see that they should have done this much earlier. I have had people come to me that have spent tens of thousands of dollars on an invention. They've got 3D CAD models. They've started their marketing. They're talking to manufacturers. Um, they've got uh, patents, all these fancy things. And then I look at their invention and make a crude prototype out of it from cardboard in five to 10 minutes. And then I find that it doesn't work. Oh my no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And I, you know, then make a video of this and send it to the client and you know, I've, I'm, I'm glad I've saved them from wasting any more time and money. Um, I've done them a great service, but it's really heartbreaking <laughs> to show them this um, when they, you know, they could have done this themselves at step one. And that's exactly what you should do. Just get your hands dirty and it's really fun. You know, you're going to have a great day doing this. It's very enjoyable. Um, feels a bit like playing with Lego, you know, putting things together, getting to creative, taking them apart making stuff, it's fun. That's my favorite part of the process, making prototypes, being in the workshop, being at home. So th this, in my opinion, is what you should do first. Um, it doesn't have to look exactly like the final article. It doesn't have to work exactly like the final article. And often it may only test one part of your invention. If your invention has five features, four of them are common, well-proven technologies like a torch or a speaker, don't spend hours testing those. We know they work. If there's one feature that's never been done before or the whole success of the invention hinges on that one feature working, test that feature first. Test it over and over and over again. Over and over again. Test it until it works. And when you've proved that feature, the rest will come together easily. Uh, so that is my recommendation for what you should do first. It's cheap, it's fast, it's fun, and you will learn loads. Okay, have fun with that and have a great day. Hi, my name is Rory Flanagan and I'm not allowed to eat this cookie until you subscribe. So hit the subscribe button, I'm hungry.